Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the history and language behind the words we use every day. If language and history are subjects you're interested in, please consider subscribing so you never miss a word. My name is Benjamin Lewis. So, I have to apologize. I've been a little busy lately and haven't been producing a lot of content. I've had some family stuff going on. It's all good. But I've been making some quicker, easier content on my other channel. It's not great at the moment. Hopefully it'll start getting a little bit higher production value and I'll be better at actually talking. But I'm reviewing different flavors of soda pop. So, let's take a look at that word. Soda pop. Noun. A fizzy beverage, usually flavored with a sugary syrup. History and etymology. One of the most interesting things about soda pop is how many different ways people refer to it. Here's an example. This is a map of the U.S. that shows the distribution of the three most common ways to refer to a soda pop. Either soda, pop, or coke. Coke is a generification of the brand name Coca-Cola. So, let's take a look at the word soda to begin with by itself. The origins of this word earlier than Latin are a little vague and uncertain, but it refers to an alkaline substance that's produced by burning plant material, usually seaweed and other sea plants, and can be found in several varieties, including sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. This one's more widely known as baking soda. And after Joseph Priestley invented a reliable way to infuse water with carbon dioxide gas, producing carbonated water, in 1767, he would serve his carbonated beverage with sodium bicarbonate, the baking soda, added to add the flavor so it tasted more like the naturally carbonated mineral waters from natural springs. I find it kind of fitting that the word that we use to refer to soda is a reference to the original flavoring that was given to this beverage. And even now, if you buy a club soda or soda water, it contains baking soda as the main flavoring. Also, I find it fitting that Joseph Priestley referred to carbonated water as his happiest invention. And I think that's very fitting because it's an invention that has made very many people very happy over the past couple hundred years that it's existed. Next, on the other hand, the word pop is simply an onomatopoeia of an explosion or a strike. It's been in use since the 1400s. The first recorded use of the word pop to refer to a carbonated beverage was in 1812. Here's the quote. A new manufactory of a nectar between soda water and ginger beer and called pop because pop goes the cork when it is drawn. And even in that quote, it's still a reference to the sound that's being made when a cork pops out of a bottle. Now, it wasn't until 1863, when the whole phrase soda pop was recorded. Surprisingly, it was used to describe people shouting. Now, here's the quote. The continual soda pop-like bursting of members calling, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Now, it's impossible to really know how long before this was recorded that people were actually using the term soda pop to refer to these carbonated beverages. Now, most of the time these days, people only use one of the words, either soda or pop, or as mentioned before, even Coke. And I've always preferred the word soda myself to describe these beverages. But let me know in the comments down below which you prefer. Do you call it soda, pop, Coke, soft drink? I don't really think there's any wrong answer, and I'm not going to hold it against you either way because it's really a regional thing, and I find that fascinating that different regions use different words to refer to things. So, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in seeing my reactions and my reviews to the unique flavors, flavors of soda that I keep finding everywhere, 
you can find a link to my vlog channel in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or feel like you've learned something, please leave a like and share the video with a friend who you think might find it interesting. Make sure you subscribe on both BitChute and YouTube, and follow me on social media, both Alt Tech and the big corporate social media giants. Find the links in the description below. If you'd like to help support my channel or this project, you can find links to my Subscribestar, Patreon, PayPal, and even a Bitcoin wallet in the description below as well. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on learning.